today, which today we're jumping into Beat, Season 1, Episode 10. We are wrapping up this wonderful show. Um, I actually thought this show was going to be completely different than what it was, but it's still effing amazing. I thought it was going to be like a comedy uh, type show going through and through every episode, but it turned very dark very quickly, just like another subscriber did say, like, this show took a, a, a quick turn. Um, I love the actors, the actresses, even the child actor. Listen, I'm not really a fan, no shade, no tea, but children actors nowadays, they just don't hit for me. Like, they, like they don't give me, like, how Home Alone was. And some other, like, uh, I Shrunk the Kids. You know those kids? Like, those children actors and actresses are different to me. I, like, love the old school. Um, but most children actors nowadays, I'm just like, oh, okay. But this child, Julie, is... Uh, love her. She's adorable. She's cute. She hits the lines. Like, she, this just, I love this show. It just gives you the emotions, the laughter. It gives you this shock and awe type of thing. The last episode when that lady died, <laughs> running to go to, I shouldn't laugh, I don't know why I laughed at her dying, but she ran to her, like, escape, whatever the hell it was, and Naomi, being Naomi, um, I mean, they were shading each other throughout the whole, uh, episode, um, and you can see that obviously didn't care for each other, and then Naomi by accident killed her, um, so I don't know, I don't know where to go, now they both fell down the damn cliff, so where are we going to go from here, what is going to happen, Junie is with the father, the father left the mother to die, um, so if the cousin's arrested, is Paul shot, is he dead, where's Paul, um, shout out to Paul, um, but yes, I'm ready to jump into this, so guys, without further ado, let's jump into B. To find out exactly what the show has got to give. Oh my god. Oh my god. I like him. Oh, he has blood all over him. Calling the police. Ah! Oh! oh, that's so funny. Danny! You gotta run, sir. Oh, he can't even run. Oh, shit. How is she not more injured? She's like the Terminator. He's not there. Oh, shit! I just pushed her off a fucking cliff. So, fuck! Danny, what happened? Did you see him get into an ambulance? Like, how many times did he get shot? I don't know, okay? Like, maybe he cut away. He could have gotten I mean, away. That could have happened, right? Yes. I don't know. I hurt my ankle when you shoved me down the fucking hill. <laughs> Where's your gun? I don't know. I lost it. How do I know you're not hiding it? Huh? I would be shooting you with it, you moron! <laughs> I am not helping you unless you use nice words! If I'm gonna carry you, you don't get to talk, period. Take her you away from me like this. please shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> trees, they're all the trees. The ones I'm pointing to, dumbass. <laughs> Feels like we're going in circles. Well, we're not, okay? Okay. Okay. Here you Thanks. go. Ow! Yes! Why'd you do that? <laughs> you started it. What are you doing? <laughs> she learned that at the beginning of the season. <laughs> Or maybe next time, think twice before you honk. How about that? Why are you so angry all the time? I don't know. 19 hours? 19? I've slept 19 hours without water, you idiot. All right? And you fucked yourself, by the way. I can't even carry you now. I bet George doesn't even know you're missing. Ooh. Okay, he's not going to check on you. Relax, Jesus. Now go find some aloe vera and agave. Elderberries, too. Because I will shoot. I have nothing left to lose. Go towards the rock. Juicy shit thrives in the shade. <laughs> Can I get you anything else? Tea? 
this, sir. And your problem is... Oh, only think about yourself. Your problem is you only bitch about everybody else. Ooh. Have some elderberries. Come on. Hey, are you sure these are elderberry? Just Google shit and pretend that I am. <laughs> I think we're in trouble. This is not normal. You won't be able to make it back to me. I just want to try. Hey! I can't move. I think they're just chemicals. What are chemicals? How come Asians are all lactose intolerant? Um, milk wasn't part of our ancestors' diet. No, no. You gotta stop asking me questions, okay? You sound like Joe. Time is not making sense right now. George told me how time is less. There's like a, there's like a percentage. Fuck, I'm messing it up. You honked at me. I was trying to return these abachi grills that I bought to kill myself. It's like the world wanted me gone. Here, that if you eat some berries, you can like die. Dude, you really need to throw up. It helped me feel better. It's an accident, but my dad smacked the shit out of me. Now you have to pass that trauma down. You know how our body absorbs nutrients? Yeah, Danny, I do know about that. <laughs> what if we're doing that to babies? I wonder who took the first piss, you know? Were we before monkeys? We used to have tails. Sometimes I can still feel where my tail used to be. Thank you so much. What? We hit puberty right when they invented internet. All that porn. Uncharted territory. Yeah, it's like Wild Wild West shit. It's fucked up. I guess I can agree with that. What if our generation started copying the porn? Like digital, like a digital analog bridge. We're the reason choking is mainstream now. Is that what my brother was like? I like in the okay, best way. Actually, actually, never. Stop, 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 stop. stop, stop. I don't even know if Paul had a real girlfriend. He, he's alive. Should I talk to him more? He would have liked that. I don't want anyone to see who I really am. You don't like George's faces? No, I hate them. <laughs> Couldn't tell him a lot of things. I think when nowhere feels like home, you just retreat into yourself. George and June feel like home, right? I don't know. No matter what I did or didn't do that day, her love would never waver. She's getting older. She never had unconditional love for me. People think babies are so innocent and cute, but you're not. No. Ugh. You're the most ruthless of us all. Mm. I expected this little child to make me whole. And George couldn't. And Mark couldn't. Wow. Why is it so hard for us to be happy? <laughs> oh, shit. You okay? And I eat Skittles? It's not right. Coming back on strong. I feel like you're inside my head. I was up real late at night and uh, my mom got me real good with that Kmart man. Man. God, he must have been having a good ass dream because he was up smiling and shit. I grabbed a mechanical pencil and I was about to stab Paul in the eye. Wait. Who am I? You're Amy. I'm Danny. Come on. Oh, right. I'm Amy. Sorry. It's okay, Danny. Yo, by the way, what's up with your tattoo? This is number 22, titled his book Catch 18, but his editor arbitrarily changed it to Catch 22. Can't experience light without dark. We're stuck. I've never been able to describe this feeling inside of me, but Catch 22. Catch 22, right? It's like a void, empty but solid. You think other people feel this way? I hope June never does. Normal people are just delusional, fucked up people. Okay. That's why I don't believe in God. What do you mean? If God is everything, then we're God. That's why everything is the way it is. God's just trying not to feel alone in nothingness. I think we're dying. I see your life. All you wanted was to not be alone. You don't have to be ashamed. I see it all, but you don't have to hide, it's okay. There's really nothing after this. They're not gonna really die, right? I think somebody's gonna find them. They have to. Did it once. Oh my god. Danny, wake up! We're still here? Yeah. <sighs> you know, it's kind of funny that we're rushing back to the absolute shit show that's waiting for us. But Ali's pretty beautiful. Oh yeah. You get so used to it, it's easy to take for granted. Oh. I got reception. Paul's alive. Oh my god. That's amazing.
amazing. Now we're close. Oh, thank God. Uh, uh, Look, Danny, if you need help with anything, like financially uh, or... No, 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 I'll be fine. <laughs> wow. All right, get... Careful, careful. Get your hands off her! People are just going around shooting each other. That's how it all started. Damn. Oh man. He's kind of so rough. <laughs> Episode. The ending, the ending is what got me. I wish we knew more. Damn it! I wish we knew more. I wish we like knew what happened with with June and and thing. Like it's over. But at least he didn't die, and Paul's not dead. Paul said he's blocking him. If they make a season two, they kind of can, like, kind of going off right where we left. But I hear that this is like a one and done show, which is. I'm with it. I think it's fine. Um, you know, they had that talk. They, it was a very, this episode was like very, this episode was more like touch your feelings and get deep. I, I guess touch your feelings if it pertains to what they were talking about, about life, about family and stuff like that. Like, but it was definitely deeper, much deeper digging in about like where they, where they came from and like what went wrong in life and you know, and then when they thought they were gonna die, you know, realization like, damn, I wish I did things better. Um, and then here comes George shooting people. Um, and then at the end, you see him going to hug her, which is like so amazing. <laughs> what a 360. Um, for me, this episode was, I don't know, after I just said all that. Um, this is like the weaker episode, but it was the more impactful message wise does that make any sense um because all the other episodes was like laughing it was like uh action there was a lot of things going on this is just our two main characters that we started off with having the conversation having a deeper talk about family about life etc etc and it's just them building and with a little bit of humor in it which i actually like i i actually to tell you the truth when something is good don't keep doing it i feel like they, if they leave this as a season one and like just leaving it like that I would be, I would be there. I would be, I would agree with it. Um, so I loved, I loved the show. Overall, the show for me was a ten out of ten. I couldn't stop watching it. Um, but you know, there's that. Guys, please like the video. Please share the video. Comment down below. What did you think about this series? What did you think about this episode? What was your favorite episode? I would love to know what your favorite episode was. My favorite episode, I think, was the episode when she actually pointed the gun at the crows. I thought that was so funny. Like She was like losing it. Um, if there was episode two or three. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time with more reactions.